Did you just pick up a Samsung Galaxy S8 and you're looking for some tips and tricks? In this video, 15 Galaxy S8 tips and tricks coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and welcome to 15 tips and tricks for the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Number one, unlock the home screen with just the home button without actually having to press the power button. All right guys, so to go ahead and enable that unlock from the home screen right there from the lock screen with the home button, you go into the settings of this device, you scroll down until you get into display settings, and then we drop down until we find navigation bar. Under navigation bar, you'll see a little option under settings that says unlock with the home button. You just wanna make sure you enable that, and now you can go ahead and easily unlock the screen with a press of the home button right there. Okay, so number two is to customize your edge panel. So swipe over to your edge and you can see you do have your people's panel and it's pretty obvious to swipe through to see things here. But if you pay attention down at the bottom, you do have a settings icon where you can go ahead and customize these panels and change them around here. You can see you have Samsung internet, Samsung sports, as well as CNN support and more. Also, you have the ability to go ahead and download more edge panels here. And if you click this three dot icon, you can uninstall, reorder these edge panels right here just however you like it right there go into that three dot menu under the handle settings you also have the ability to make it small and large the edge panel right there on the right and you could change the transparency of that edge panel as well so that's nice also you can turn off vibration from the edge panel if you want your phone to be totally silent so yeah that's number two customization of the edge panels so the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus no longer have a quick launch button here for the home button so now you have to use the power button to quick launch the camera so you quick launch the camera with a double tap there and you can go ahead and take your pictures right there so that's my third tip and trick for the Galaxy S8 Plus number four is to enable the pro camera so you can go ahead and go into settings here not settings but you swipe over to the left and you can see pro camera right there and this can really make your camera a total pro professional style camera so you can go ahead and raise the exposure here white balance focus point standard aperture as well as your ISO level so you can make your camera a pro camera simply by double clicking the camera swiping over to the left and changing it out of auto and into pro mode essentially turn your Galaxy S8 into a customizable camera that can shoot very sharp pictures so that's number four while we're still in the camera app, let's talk about the flip to the front camera. So all you have to do is simply flip like this and can come to the front camera on the Galaxy S8 Plus. No longer having the fumble around in settings, just go ahead and flip and you can come right into your front facing camera like so. All right guys, so for my sixth tip and trick, you triple click the home button to come into one hand mode. To come out of there, you just click anywhere outside of the screen here. Now to enable this, let's just simply go into settings, go at the top search bar here and type in one handed mode here. You can see under advanced features is one handed mode. You can see you can also do a gesture base, but I find the triple click the home button to be easier. So you can go ahead and triple click for one hand mode there. And that's my sixth tip and trick for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Number seven for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is going to be this phone can become a lifesaver. So go into advanced features and scroll down until you see send SOS messages. So you can go ahead and send SOS messages by simply turning this on and it's going to tell you to agree to the terms of service. And if you're in an emergency or anything like that, you could set up your contacts and go ahead and have, you know, an SOS go out to whoever you set up in here. So this can really be handy if you get into an emergency situation. So that's number seven. It is you have the ability to rearrange the soft keys. So you go ahead and you go into settings here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. You go into display. You go into the navigation bar settings. Scroll down here to button layout and you can see that you can change them from the back to the recent keys and you also can change from home to recent keys. So these guys right here on the out edges switch around. If you want your multitasking tray over here or on this side, you can flip them around easily by going into settings. Again, display navigation bar and you go into button layout and you switch them out really easily like that. So that's number eight. So number nine is the ability to stretch your apps to full screen. So we simply gonna go into display settings once again, scroll down until we find the full screen apps. You can see right there, go into full screen apps. Let's zoom out a little bit and you can see, you can choose the applications to scale to the full screen. Now some of these applications won't work fully correctly for your device, but hey, at least we can stretch them across this 18 by nine aspect ratio display and that is number nine 
for my tips and tricks for Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So for number 10 is the ability to tweak the color gamut on your Galaxy S8. So head into the settings menu again, and we're going to go into display settings. Once again, the display is the main feature here on this device. So that's why we're talking a lot about display. You can see adaptive display, AMOLED cinema, AMOLED photo. Now cinema, photo, and basic are all pretty much preset by Samsung. So you have to go into adaptive display and then you enable the color balance option. And here is where you can really tweak the color to the way you like it exactly on your Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Now you're not seeing a lot of difference here on camera. You really have to use this phone in person to see it tweaking more so. But it does do some tweaking and it does make it a little bit easier on the eye based on how you want it set for your personal preference. So that's number 10 for my tips and tricks for the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And we're talking about display settings. We're going to go ahead and show you that you do have the ability to have a screensaver here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. So if we go down into settings, display settings, and then we scroll down into screensaver, you can see I can turn this on and you have the ability to turn on colors you know, applications, a photo table, a photo frame, as well as Google Photos here. So that's a pretty nice touch there. You do have a screensaver and you can go ahead and preview them here like so. And this is when your phone is charging and stuff like that and it's not on. You also have always on display options here that comes pre-enabled out of the box here with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. For number 12 is the ability to sort your applications alphabetically. So we're going to go into the app drawer, we're going to go into sort, and we're going to go ahead and switch this to alphabetical order. You also have the ability to change these into custom order, but we can also go to sort again and put this in alphabetical order. If you're like, why are, why are my apps like not in alphabetical order? I can't find anything. That's how you go ahead and do that on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. 13 is the ability to change system fonts. Now Samsung users of long time know this, but for new Samsung users, you go ahead and go into display settings. We go into screen, zoom, and font. And down here, you could change your font styles as well as download new fonts here. So you have default, gothic, bold, coco, choco cookie, cool jazz, rosemary. These have been on the Galaxy series for years now. But if you go into download new fonts, it'll redirect you to the Galaxy Essential Store. And you could see all these new different fonts you could download to really customize your Galaxy S4. S8 and S8 Plus to be right the way you like it in terms of the text on the screen. So that's a nice touch there for Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Number 14 is the ability to change the navigation bar. So if I go into settings, you can see the navigation bar is currently set to white. If I go into display and I scroll into navigation bar, you can see you have the ability to change the colors basically to any phone you have. So I have the silver version of the Galaxy S8 Plus here. If I go ahead and put silver, now it does match the phone a little bit better. If you have the orchid gray color, they have this little purple right here, or pink right there to match that. We do have the coral blue, the maple gold here, and we do have the silver, which I already showed you. Of course, we got black as well to match the bottom tray. I don't really like that one too much. White kind of matches the system UI. And then you have a color picker here where you can go ahead and tweak it to whatever color you want, which is pretty cool stuff if you ask me. So very customizable here and making your phone a little bit different than everyone else's here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. 15th and final feature on the Galaxy S8 Plus tips and tricks is the video enhancer. So go in the search bar and just type in video enhancer and you can see this is an advanced feature that basically brightens up and punches up the saturation for video watching like applications like YouTube, Google Play Movies, DirecTV, pretty much any media based applications, Video Enhancer is going to work flawlessly here for your Galaxy S8 Plus. And that's my final tip and trick for the Galaxy S8 Plus. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. Share your tips and tricks that you have for the Galaxy S8 Plus or S8 to help the community out. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well click the like button for me if you enjoyed this i will catch you all in the next one and peace